What's up guys, Tuki here. This is Borks Battalion and let's get right into it because we have a lot to cover. As you see on the screen right now, we completed the expansion set yet again. We've done it quite a bit. We did it by throwing in Ryan Johansson, who was one of our better polls in this series, but he has lost his place. And as you see, the return wasn't amazing. I don't know if any of those players will complete it, but for a set that gifted us John Tavares, it is going to be a shame if that is the last time that we are able to get it done. But as we continue on here, the team has changed a lot more than just the players that we used in that set. We have also sold a trio of players that have been featured pretty heavily in this series so far, but I feel as though they've lost their spot and it would be better to get those coins back or to at least get something for them. That being Max Pacioretty, Ben Bishop, and Dustin Bufflin, so things have changed quite a bit. But before we move on to the top comment and the lineup, I needed to point out as well, competitive seasons, of course it was going well. We were 6-0, I missed out on playing in round three. As I've mentioned, February 24th was my birthday. I thought the season or the, uh, the round ended on February 25th, so I didn't pay attention on my birthday, why would I? Turns out that was the last night of the round, so we might not end up getting as good of rewards, but I will be playing the fourth round, and we will hope for the best. But as we get into the top comment, it was really, there won't be one in particular, it was a general consensus that we should, as we currently have eight gold collectibles and we were gifted a carbon for winning the Div 6 title, we should get two more golds, get an extra carbon, and complete one of these sets of course two carbons to get one of these players now as you see right now of course it has switched over we went from the pacific teams to the central did i complete it for a uh for a pacific player no i did not our options there were bodker louis erickson eberle to foley goligoski Vatnin, and dougie hamilton i didn't go for that because i want to know from you guys and there will be a poll attached. You can click the icon and I'll talk about that more in a second. Do we want to complete one of the Central Division All-Star sets or do we want to wait to see what we could get from the Atlantic or the Metro? So let me know. This is a two-parter here, so pay attention. Click the icon. It will say yes or no as to whether or not we should complete one of these specific sets right now from the Central Division. We have Steen and Landeskog as left wings, Brian Little as a center, Craig Smith, Patrick Sharp, and Jason Pominville as a right wing, and our one defenseman would be Brent Seabrook, who would be on the right hand side. So click the icon. If you vote yes, down in the description, there will be a link to a straw poll where you can vote on what specific set we should complete. If the icon poll, the one attached to this video, ends up being no, then we won't do it, and we will wait until the Central, or not the Central, excuse me, until the Atlantic or the Metro Division set is released. But one way or another, we will be getting a decent player, and I will get my hands on that carbon by any means necessary. Shouldn't be too difficult. We are making pretty good progress. I think we only need five coaches and five jerseys to get those last two golds. But anyway, all that's out of the way. This is the lineup that we are going with, the optimized lineup that I feel like gives us the best chance to win. The new top line is Bobby Hall, Richards, and Panarin. Of course, Richards and Panarin have been there for so, so long now. Second line, you have McDavid, Matthews, and Movember Eberle. Movemberle, as he has been called. Jeff Skinner is with Travis Konechny and Nathan McKinnon. And the fourth line, Jonathan Drouin, Darren Helm, and Tyler Johnson. Is this a fast lineup? Yes, it is. D were, was I intending to make this just as fast of a lineup as possible? No, but it's just kind of the way it turned out. And regardless, it is a pretty sick team. Defensively, top line or top pairing is still Bork Ekblad. You have Bisson at Vatnin. TJ Brody has replaced Hampus Lindholm. And I chose Mike Green over Shea Weber. People might disagree, man, but I am really, really enjoying this Mike Green card. He has a good shot. He's pretty damn fast. Like He's just a well-rounded player 
to have, and I'm really liking how our defense has shaped up so far. Of course, the goaltending, Ilya Perzgalov is there. You know that's him. I hate that fucking glitch. And we're just going to roll with Alex Stalock as the backup. Competitive seasons, Nathan McKinnon will be replaced by Alesh Hemsky just as a throwaway. But this team is set. We are going to play at least two games this episode, maybe even three, because we only played one game in the last episode. I've talked for long enough. Let's get into it. Div 5, can we get started off on a good note? I certainly hope so. 36 and 0. Well, we might have a challenge on our hands. All right. Mike Madano, Mike Richards, and Phil Kessel. This could be interesting. So you might be asking yourself, what the hell was that? Aside from the intro where you pointed out his goalie's record, it was just the music. You didn't say anything. Did you forget to record the audio? Did the audio cut out? Did you lose a file? No. That was just the most frustrating game of NHL I've had in a very long time, where EA made it very clear my purpose there was to do nothing else but get bent over and take it. And take it I did, as we lose that game, which... Yeah, am I salty about it? A little bit. A little bit. But I'm not going to sit here and complain and talk about why it's bullshit because I would just be rehashing old complaints. Complaints I'd have about this game five years ago. Complaints that I'll have about this game five years from now. And it, it is what it is. I'll take my loss. It is what it is. There's no point in complaining because EA won't fix it. And it's just me. It just... Complaining just makes me look like an asshole, basically. So whatever, we lose that game. I'll try to try to just take my loss and move on. Game two, EA, I can't, I can't do that again. So please don't have mercy. Good reach there. Slides it to the point to Bissonnette. On to Hall. And still with it along the board. Slid just inside the line. Good chance. And we get the goal. Bobby Hall deflects the shot, and Artemi Panarin gets the rebound. We needed that goal, but let's hope we're actually allowed to defend this game. That's kind of important. Possession reestablished by Bork. Eight minutes, 42. Pass attempt to Johnson. Passing one off now to Drew in. Good shooting place. Briz, you gotta be kidding me. Alright, well maybe we made a mistake in selling Ilya Brizgal off because I am very tempted to lay down the law and just get rid of him after what I have seen from him in the past few games. Say what you want about the turnover being my fault. I can only hit the button so many times and so quickly. But yeah. Yeah, Brizgalov's on thin ice. Oh my god. Nice pass up the middle to McKinnon. It all alone. McKinnon buries it. Thank God. I need all the goals I can get, guys. This is mm. I almost didn't play another game after that first one. I need a win here. I need a win. Good standing poke check. Nicely into the zone. 
Hamilton's carrying it in their own end. And he gains the zone with a shot. Matthews with the snipe. 3 1. If I don't sound too happy or too excited, it's because I'm not. This game is not too fun to play at the moment, but at least we're finding success in this game. Bobby Hull with the snipe. Thought we were going to make him pay for it when he instantly, or when he immediately passed it out. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore about 4-1. Like I said, I needed a win for the confidence, and we're getting it. From the looks of it, probably just jinxed myself. We've secured the win. Ilya Brzgalov with 16 saves. It didn't really feel like it. A lot of outside shots from him looking for rebounds. Thankfully, we were able to clean up most of the mess and we take home the two points. A nice little way to rebound after the frustration of that first game, which, boy, the term frustration and the word frustration cannot be overstated, but 32 shots to 17 killed him in time on attack. Passing percentage was dead equal, which is shocking, but we also crushed him on face-offs. He had a team that pretty much only money could buy, so it's always nice to beat one of those teams packed full of heroes. Andrew Chuck, Blake, Brindamore, Foote, uh, Brett Hull, Lidstrom, Madonna, Neely. Like, just, I mean, he has no Vetchkin as well. Always nice to beat one of those kind of teams. Now, the question is whether or not I want to play a third game for this episode, which, God, that doesn't sound fun at all. <laughs> it really, really doesn't. Part of me wants to. I was tempted to maybe bump it up to three games per episode, but after that, I I can't. Uh, maybe next episode, maybe next episode we'll bump it up to three games per, but our, our start in Division 5, I believe that was our first, uh, our first loss in regular seasons mode since Division 10. Maybe. I don't recall, but I feel like that's only our second loss in Divisions competitive seasons is where the other five losses have come from. But 43-6-1, still not a terrible record, and who knows, maybe now that we're in Division 5, maybe the competition ramps up, or maybe, as would be the case in that first game, maybe the... Uh... Maybe the EA in-game mechanics work a little bit, a little bit more hard to make games more interesting rather than having the team that should win actually win. But again, if I say anything more, I'm salty. If I say anything, actually, I've said too much. I'm already going to be labeled salty and can't take a loss and all that shit. But anyway, let me know. Of course, now the ball is in your court. Top comment is what we do. Make sure to vote on the polls for what we do as far as the all-star set goes and what player we will eventually get from that. But yeah, guys, I'm out of here. I can, I cannot be asked, I could not be bothered to play another game of, in any mode of NHL 17 tonight. No thank you. But I do thank you for watching this episode. Smooth segue right there. Of course, if you did enjoy, like button, subscribe button, you know the deal. Help me out, support the channel in any way you deem necessary. I will see you guys in the next episode of Bork's Battalion.